Hello and welcome to this session friends. My name is Yogesh. In this session we are going to discuss on creating and configuring file based swap memory on Red Hat Enterprise Linux or CentOS 7 instance. So the first thing why we need swap? To answer friends uh, swap space in Linux can be used when a system requires more memory than it has been physically allocated. To elaborate it, friends, uh, let's assume you got one EC2 instance that got 10 GB of physical memory allocated. And that 10 GB memory is not sufficient for your application or other system processes to work. To get rid of this issue, you got two options. One, you can use higher capacity instances, but that is going to cost you extra. Second way, if uh, adding additional swap can help you, so you can use that workaround. But keep in mind, friends, that uh, with swap, you will not get same performance that you can get with physical memory. But again, uh, that's up to you, up to your requirements. Default EC2 swap configuration. So friends, uh, default AMIs, whether that's Red Hat AMI or CentOS AMI, they don't have any swap configured. So you have to configure it basically. I have listed process to adding a file based swap. So like uh, you can add swap in two ways. One, you can uh, use disk or LVM volume. Other way is using a file and configure it as swap file and add it to your swap configuration. So I'm uh, describing procedure for file based swap. Okay, first step friends, you have to create a swap file. If you have ext4 file system, because Red Hat 7 still supports ext4 file system, or if you got XFS, which is default file system on Red Hat 7. So friends, uh, if you are using F allocate command to create swap, you can't use it on XFS because on XFS it creates empty holes, which is not supported by swap configuration. So DD is the best way to create a swap file, but I have described both methods. Only benefit of using F allocate in case of ext4 file system, it allocates space immediately. Means you don't have to wait for a couple of minutes or like long time depending upon your swap size. Okay, so either way that you have to choose like depending upon your file system. Next step friends, you have to create swap area. Creating swap area mean you are putting a label on swap file that uh, this is a swap file. To do so, you have to run mkswap followed by a swap file. And uh, one thing I have not listed, you have to make permission of this swap file 600, means uh, that file is owned by a root only. Next thing, friends, you have to enable the swap. To enable it, swap on followed by minus a, then your swap file. At the end, update your etcfsf file, so this configuration will be persistent across the reboots. Let me begin technical session so I can give you examples like how we can do that. Okay, I'm logging on to my EC2 server. This is very basic instance, friends. Okay, so I'm elevating my privileges to root because I need to be root to run these commands. If you go sudo, then it's fine. You can run commands with sudo, but uh, I'm just becoming root here. So let's check what's uh, swap configuration now. If you see friends, uh, swap size is zero byte right now. So no swap file configured, or you can verify using swap on minus S. Right now there is no swap file, so you haven't got any output. To create swap file, uh, you can use dd command. Here, if you see dd if mean input file, which is dev zero, it mean it will zero out everything in the output file. Of mean output file. This is the file name swap, swap file. This is the block size mean uh, the block which will be used for writing. That's a 
1 MB block 1024K which means 1 MB count is equal to 1024. It means uh, if you cal calculate or multiply it becomes 1 GB of swap file. I am pressing enter here friends. So it may take a couple of seconds. If you got a big swap file to create then it may take a larger amount of time. F allocate is useful in such cases but uh, as I said it got limitation on uh, XFS file system, but if you go to ext4, then go with f allocate. Uh, you may be thinking, why I have used ddy? I have not used uh, f allocate here, friends. So file system type here, you can run df minus sorry, df minus capital T here. If you see my root file system is on XFS, there is no ext4 file system. Otherwise, I could go with f allocate command. Okay, friends. So file is created. Now let's create swap area on this file to do so mk swap followed by file name. Okay, it's done. Now let's enable the swap. Enabling means we are using going to use this swap. Okay, friends, uh, as I said, uh, that's a main bit. It need to be 600. So to do so ch mod 600, then your swap file. So it's done and uh, swap is enabled free minus m or free minus h up to you you see this is a 1 gb swap that is enabled now so that swap is in system configuration or you can verify using swap on minus s you see this is a swap file this is a size and this is a priority thing okay so friends uh, that's a simple how you can use swap in case you have to turn this swap off just swap off and then file name okay as I said uh, another thing we have to do we have to add it in FS type so swap will be persistent across reboots vi etc FS tab here I am appending this escape o escape i this is the file swap file and these are the options I am using this is the file type is swap and I am using default options to mount 00 at the end which is default saving it okay so that's done friend now we got uh, swap in enabled on our system this is the memory which is 991 mb and swap is 1 gb so that's up to you how much swap you want to add to your system which meets your application or the other system process requirements so thanks for watching this video friends if you have any query or any suggestion you can leave a comment on my youtube channel thanks a lot friends bye bye